July Garden Tour Garden Series Part 7. Hello, welcome to Seven Series Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. July Garden Tour. Hello, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to tour the garden and I'm going to show you how the garden is doing, what's going on in the garden, and uh, let's go. Over here we have huckleberries over here. We have uh, sweet bitter leaves. The can over here, we have some pumpkins over there, and we have tomatoes, and we have more tomatoes over here. You can see uh, tomatoes that we already have, I quite a few, um, so the tomatoes are doing great. Over here on this side, we have water leaf. You can see what the leaf, how big the leaves are, They're doing really, really well. Um, we just got some rain today, so. Um, garden is looking great um, we have uh, some tomatoes over here these are cherry tomatoes over here and uh, uh, let's look at the other side of the garden. we have pumpkins as you can see this pumpkin spreading we have huckleberries right here and we have more pumpkins over there so on this side we have mostly uh, pumpkins and huckleberry with a few garden eggs and tomatoes so the pear is coming along okay. Uh, you can see, hopefully within a month, we should be able to start harvesting some pears. Here the pear tree is doing great. Um, it didn't produce as much as last year, but it's also, um, so far, it's looking great. So over here on, this, on the side of the garden, over here we have um, some cucumbers right here. We have some uh beans growing we have pumpkins in the back you can see the pumpkins that we have there we have another pumpkin right there pumpkins are doing great down here we have sweet bitter leaf of the can right here we have some herbs and this bed is mostly uh the can right here this is the last bed last raised bed i did and uh, the last um seeds i transplanted about two weeks ago so are doing great we should be able to have it at least uh two or three times before the end of the season that's the minimum um over here we have our zucchinis um you can grow zucchinis in containers you can see uh, check out the video on how i harvested zucchinis very large zucchinis here we had a couple of them and uh, we have some cherry tomatoes here cherry tomatoes are ripe ripe getting ripe every day and i love just uh, chewing cherry tomatoes over here we have uh, what the leaf that I'm growing in this half gallon we have a little bit of wind right now but um, tomatoes we got more tomatoes over here in this five gallon bucket and on this bed over here we have we just harvested it today uh, we have a sweet bitter leaf over here and some herbs right there um, then over here we have our bell pepper we're growing in containers you can see we have quite a few, a few on these containers over here bell peppers that are doing great uh, same with this one over here so these ones are ready to be harvested these are bell peppers you can grow bell peppers in containers and uh, we have uh, sweet bitter leaf in these containers over here uh, we have water leaf in these containers over here and then we have um, more bell peppers that are getting bigger and bigger. You can see the size of this one is getting bigger. So hopefully we should be able to harvest those uh, very soon. Um, over here, this bed, we have water leaves. Um, we have some garden egg coming out by themselves. Uh, but overall, this bed is just water leaves. We just harvested the uh, water leaves uh, today too. So uh, water leaf is looking great. So this bed in the back over here is sweet bitter leaf or the can. And then we have a zucchini that we planted in the ground over here. We harvested it once already. We have some smaller ones that are trying to come out. So within a week or two, we should be able to harvest the zucchini that's coming out. So over here in the back of the garden, you can see the um, 
uh, pumpkins have taken over the whole back of the uh, this fence right here. Um, I planted on the fence so that it grows up and 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 at least covers this area, but it has gone overboard. So um, growing pumpkin like this, you just want to make sure you control it regularly. If not, it's going to take over the farm. So on this bed over here, we have our tomatoes, uh, raised bed, and we have, I just planted um, sweet bitter leaf on the, uh, at the bottom of it to maximize the space and use as much space as I, as I can to, to grow different things. So the tomatoes, some of the tomatoes, uh, we harvested some uh, yesterday, but we still have quite a few that are getting ripe every day. Um, we have some um, blight, and and we still have to I still have to spray it again, to because of the humidity and temperature is uh, not doing really well. But we we're still able to harvest tomatoes there. So in this fabric grow bag, grow bed over here, uh, we have a uh, pecan on one side. Right here on this side we have the can, and on the other side we have water leaf, and they are all doing well. We just harvested them today, and within a week and a half, two weeks, we should be able to harvest them again. And on this bed over here, we have some herbs, and we have some anchia, garden egg, and the rest of it is just the can and. Uh, uh, sweet bitter leaf that we're growing and uh, they're all coming along great over here and we have some conti containers right here that we're growing uh, sweet bitter leaf and then share in it in the uh, wall close to the uh, greenhouse you can see uh, in this uh, half drums I'm growing uh, sweet bitter leaf and water leaf and hockey berries on these containers over here and on the side over here we have Carrots, carrots are really doing well. They're coming along great. Uh, we have carrots in two containers over here, and the rest are what they leave over here. And then we have more cherry tomatoes over here. We have uh, garden egg over here. Um, I just harvested the garden egg. You can see that's what's left, um, and it's still producing. So um, hopefully, it's gonna produce a lot more. So it's still producing flowers. So we should be able to get um, more. Uh, garden egg very soon and the rest of the bed we have some peppers and we have water leaves you can see these are bell peppers that I just planted them in the in the ground the ones that I planted in container are doing much better than the ones that I planted in the ground so uh, just food for thought there so um, over here you can see a lot of the seeds uh, check out my video on harvesting um, uh, uh, water leaf seeds these are water leaf um, we just let these ones go a little bit uh, to get the seeds. Uh, you can see when they produce flowers like that and later on, uh, the bulbs have a lot of seeds in them. Uh, each one of them should, uh, ha probably has about 30, 20 to 30 seeds. So uh, hopefully we're going to get enough seeds this year. And I know some people were looking for seeds, so definitely should be able to get enough seeds to, um, to use and, and be able to sell some of them. So over here, this is another um garden egg that we producing a lot we harvested some of them a couple of days ago and still still coming so um hoping to get a lot of production from them this uh this year and get a lot of garden egg from them so over here this garden egg for some reason i think um either a fungi or something has gotten into it and leaves are just dying um, and I sprayed it with a couple of different things to see if it's able to resolve the issue. But if you know what um, the cause of this, let me know in the comments below if you know the reason why these uh, leaves are um, folding like that and dying up like that. Let me know in the comments below. I sprayed it uh, today, so I'm hoping to hopefully get some good results from it. Um, get it back to, to life. If not, uh, then we'll get rid of it and uh, then go with the other ones. So over here on this bed, we have sweet bitter leaf, we have kale. Um, right here, this is the old kale that we have as a seed. And we have tomato right here. And over here, this is a new container of um, anchia. You can see the anchia is doing great. Anchia that we're growing over here. This raised bed is pecan. Then we have our strawberries over here. And then we have more anchia. And then we have... Um, um strawberries 
So we have a similar situation over here where the garden egg leaf is dying off. So, and you can see some of them are getting ripe already, but they, for some reason, I don't think it's fungi or something that's eating up or causing it to fold like that. And this is, this is green, also called African spinach, and it spreads over the garden a lot. But uh, we haven't planted this for over six years now, but it keeps coming up. So what you do is you need to make sure that before the, the seeds mature, you cut, cut the seeds off. If not, it's going to spread and keep producing in the garden and take over your garden. So uh, watch out for that. So over here we have kale. This is the kale. It's growing. We harvested it once already, and it's uh, doing well. It's time to harvest it again. And over here we have some spinach. And we have some um, huckleberry right here. And we also have some garden egg right here. Over here in this container, we have anchia. We have anchia, and the anchia is also doing great. And this bed is huckleberry. Huckleberries, and we can see they went to seeds already. They already produced seeds, quite a few seeds. So the huckleberry seeds right there and then we have some spinach you see spinach spinach leaf we have also uh quite a few spinach uh over here and we also have some pumpkin that's also trying to take over this bed we had planted just one pumpkin on this bed and the pumpkin is just trying to uh, take over so on the back wall over here we have pumpkin over there um, and we have some pumpkin and uh, potatoes on the back over here. So the potatoes are uh, on this side over here. So let me show you. Um, this all bed is also um, huckleberry. These are large leaf huckleberries. And then back here, these are the pumpkins. The pumpkins are ready to be harvested. You can see all the leaves dying off and everything dying off. Uh, the pumpkins are ready to be harvested. So hopefully within the next couple of days, we're gonna um, harvest the pumpkins um, over here. We harvested the ones that we we had in our raised bed and in containers. These are all the last. Uh, this is the last pumpkin left that needs to be harvested. So we have, uh, sorry, last potatoes that need to be harvested. So over here we have uh, more pumpkin. So we eat the pumpkin leaves. That's why we grow a lot of the pumpkin like this. Uh, we cut the pumpkin leaves. Um, just get a pumpkin tip like this and use it to make some um, sauce um, that's used to eat um, other stuff. So that's why we grow a lot of pumpkins. We also eat the pumpkin uh, themselves, but uh, the priority here is the pumpkin leaves. So we also have some huckleberries on this bed. And the huckleberries, uh, some of them are already producing seeds. Some, are, some of them need to be harvested. So these have to be harvested. And we also have pumpkin down here in the back. So I'm trying to have the pumpkin grow and just climb up this trellis over here. But it uh, looks like it's just trying to spread all over the place. So I just have to control it. So and then we have our strawberries in container. We have like four containers over here with strawberries. We did harvest uh, the strawberries already, um, but hopefully we're hoping to get maybe second round very soon. You can see the runners. It's time for me to cut some of these runners off so that way they don't continue to spread all over the garden. So you just cut the runners off. You can use this to start a new um, plant uh, by just planting the, this end right here. Um, let me show you. I'm just planting this end right here into the ground and it will continue growing. Um, or you can just throw it away if you don't need any more, um, if you don't need any more strawberries. But you can see that you get a lot of runners from strawberries like that. Okay, um, that is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you're not following me yet, follow me for more videos like this. And uh, leave a comment below um, if you have any questions. And uh, don't forget to share. If you like the video, somebody else might like the video, share the video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy growing, everybody.